We joined Candice Bass Robinson this morning at Bass Racing to take us through her runners for Hollywood Beats Durbanville on Monday. Candice, uh, race one, you've got it's the, the 12.50, Song of Myself and uh, Love Shack. Are you looking for improvement from both? Uh, Vicky, Song of Myself has obviously only had the one run. She, she made a very a good effort on her debut. Um, she did everything very professionally. She wasn't green. She got herself nicely placed and uh, she ended up running a good race. So she can only come on from that run, I would think. Um, not really the really the a Durbanville filly, you know, she's got quite a high knee action and she's still legs all over the place. So I think she's got some improving to do still and I think we'll be a much better filly at Kenilworth. Um got a ten draw to overcome on on a Monday, so it's all gonna depend where the racing ends up being, whether we on the inside or on the outside. So racing at the moment is a little bit tricky. Um to try and fancy horses, especially after the, the last couple of races on, on uh, Wednesday so we'll just have to see where we end up racing but she's doing well at home she's a nice filly and uh, I think if things go away she certainly will have a good chance the other filly Love Shack might find a little tough from the 12 draw um, she's slowly improving but I think she needs things to be her way before she um, you know she's able to win a race like this race three for Dre he won't be taking part in race four heliotrope the the Rafi first timer she's thankfully drawn two and then trip to Maputo looks quite progressive but uh, 14 draw not sure that a two draw is going to help Heliotrope having her first start. Vicky, um, she's a big, long striding filly and probably wants 2,400 metres, I would think. Um, she hasn't shown me a lot at home in the sand to date, so I think she's going to take a good few runs before she, she comes to hand. So I'm not sure whether she's going to be able to hold her position um, over a shorter trip like this from a two draw. But uh, she's getting started and um, I, I don't expect much from her. And then you've got trip to Maputo, unfortunately, like I said, that, that wide draw. Yeah, she's also, she's improving very nicely. Uh, it would have been a nice race for her, um, this 1400, but yeah, it doesn't help having a, a wide draw like that. Um, you know, she's going to have to obviously try and overcome that draw. So tough to, to make a call on her. She's, she's improving nicely at home. As I said, she's a nice filly, but she'll have a work cut out from there. In uh, the Maiden 2000 race five, you've got a uh, flamboyant flyer. She looks like a, a nice type of filly and enjoyed the, the 1800. Um, nice light weight for her too in this race. Yes, well, there was, you know, they, they scrapped the Phillies 1800 meter race, so um, I've obviously carried her over to the Colts race. Uh, she is nicely weighted, yes. Much improved run from her last time out on, on good going and over a bit further. Um, she's, she's starting to slowly come to hand now. She's, she's a filly that's going to get ground. And, um, yeah, I think uh, she should have a good chance, Vicky, at the weights. Um, I know she is taking on the Colts, but obviously these races are not always the strongest races. Um, and she's doing really nicely at home, so I give her a big chance at the weights. Uh, Lord Firefield also, also it's looking for this sort of trip. Um, also improved very nicely since he's been going over ground. I think probably have her to beat at the weights, and obviously he's got a, a wider draw to overcome. So if I had to pick out of my two, I think I would probably go with Flamboyant Fly. Race six, the class three, 1600. You've got a, a lovely hand of fillies here. Um, the first them, who do you love with, with Elder Up? Um, she's carrying a bit of weight, but um, you know she's the type of filly that, that could do well. Yeah, Vicky, she's been difficult to try and find races for because her rating is high and uh, right through the season now they just haven't had races um, for fillies uh, with that type of rating. So she's got a big weight again. Um, she just come back from PE a little while ago where she, she ran a nice race and a listed race um, on the poly. Uh, just ended up going a little bit slow for her and she was quite green looking at everything. So she is a nice filly. Um, I'm going to try a pair of blinkers on her. We've we've just, we've put some blinkers on at home, and uh, hopefully that will help a little bit to get her to focus a bit better. But um, yeah, I think it's it's a nice little race for her. I think if the if she's you know she's not affected by the weight too much, then she certainly will be competitive. Queen of Sparta, she goes the mile for the first time. Is she looking for this trip now? I'm not sure, Vicky. I, I would love to have run over 1400, but I can't find a 1400. So we might as well try the the mile. Um, I think her mother. Uh, one up to 1400 um, she's she's quite a burly filly so she takes a fair amount of work I think 1400 probably a best trip obviously the mile um, is going to be a little question mark but uh, yeah trick, hard for me to say how I think she's going to run uh, first time over this distance especially in the softer going Royal Invitation she's always got that that pace which it becomes quite an asset at, at Durbanville She's actually doing really well. She looks a picture at the moment and great run from her last time. She just got nabbed on the line. Um, she loves this sort of trip. I think she enjoys Durbanville um, track because she likes to race up handy. So she must be a big runner there. The last them fun zone, her, her form unfortunately dipped through the, the winter months. Didn't quite enjoy that going. It, difficult with a little bit of rain about, um, but the track's a bit firmer than what you would say Hollywood Bits Kenilworth was sort of to the, the thick of winter. 
was very soft last time she ran, and she was drawn badly. So I think you can definitely put a line through that run. But we look like we're heading in the same direction on Monday. We're drawn badly, and the going is, and we've had rain, and the going soft. So hard to fancy her from the draw, and I think um, in that sort of going. But she is a filly that's got ability, and she's always, she's never far off them. So it's all going to depend um, on the conditions. Race seven, you've got Dragonfly with Mone up. A much better race from him last time. Could he could he run some late? Seems to also be nudging down the ratings. Yeah, also Dimble, not quite the right track for him. He's never in the race early on, and he's he's you know he takes his time to unwind in the straight. Um, much better run from him. He was off for a long time. He had a wind up, and you know then he ended up getting sick. So it's, it was it was quite a long road to recovery for him. So he's had his two runs back now. I think he should be you know much at his best probably the third run. Although now I'm going over the mile for the first time. Um, I'm hoping that obviously with the wind up and everything, he's he's able to see out that trip comfortably because I think that's definitely what he's looking for. Um, just the conditions of the way they're racing at Durban are not quite suited to his style of racing. So um, I'd like to see a bit of improvement, but uh, it's going to be tricky for him too. Race 8, you've got two lovely fillies both having their, their first runs out the, the maintenance but you know Red Palace obviously that form of Frank with could it be on, on Wednesday? Yeah, she's a very nice filly, Vicky. Um, she won super impressively um, when she won her maiden. Uh, she took that run very well. I think she's come on nicely from that run. Um, you know, she's a filly that I think her minimum trip will be a mile and she'll want further. So yeah, I'm looking for a, uh, well I think she certainly will you know, give a good account of herself first run out the maiden. She's reasonably well drawn, um, so she must be in with a shot. Windrunner also, um, I think despite everything, she, she still won her maiden, um, dropping a stick and having a, long, a lot of ground to make up and all kinds of things like that. So she won pretty well. Um, she's quite nicely weighted here as well. So, yeah, not without a chance either. Um, but if I think, if you ask me who's a better filly out of the two, I'd probably say Red Palace. The last of your runners is Sunday. Is coming off a little bit of a rest. Um, he, at four wise, it seems like he does better in the summer. He does. He doesn't enjoy the soft because he likes to come from off the pace too. Also, um, you know, conditions are not going to be really uh, suited. Well, he won't really be suited to the conditions on Monday. But um, you know, he's he's had a little quite a bit of time in between runs now, so he might just need his run back. He's doing quite nicely at home. He actually looks quite well at the moment. So. We'll just have to see, but uh, um, yeah, I think he might just, you know, find, as I say, the conditions and maybe just needing a run back this time. Candice, thank you. All the best. Thank you. That's uh, Candice taking us through runners, some really nice ones, so keep an eye on them.